Hello everyone, Pastor Mike Palumbo here. Our pastor's devotion today is in John 15, focus on 16 through 17. This is part of a series on John 15, the relationship of love between the vine, which is Jesus, and the branch, which is those who trust in Jesus. We've already looked at this relationship as an, a relationship of absolute dependency that results in active love. We depend on Jesus for salvation, sanctification, growth, and everything. And this produces this fruit of love for God and obedience to his command and love for each other as we sacrificially serve. Today, we're going to see how this vine branch relationship sends us out on mission to share that love with others. So hear the reading of God's word in John 15, verse 4. Abide in me and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. Verse 12. This is my commandment, that you love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. You see, this relationship in the vine and the branch is a relationship of profound love and life. And as we experience this life of Jesus and we find in him our highest joy, we have to share that joy with other people. It flows through us and, and moves out into our families and into our communities and into the very world that we live in. We see here in verse 16 that Jesus says, you didn't choose me. But I chose you and I appointed you to go and bear fruit. This means that the fruit that results from this dependent relationship is not just the fruit of character change, but the fruit of mission as we go and share with others that Jesus laid down his life to take the punishment of our sin. As we share with others that Jesus is that life-giving joy that we all long to experience. And so we go out. We go out in mission to share this love with others. Before Winnie and I got married, I wrote a poem that I wanted to share with her about John 15 and how God wants to shape our marriage to be on mission for the sake of others, to share this life with them. And I want to share some of that poem with you to see what this mission is all about. So here the poem, it's, on John, it's about John 15. In the vine we shall dine and enjoy the sweet wine of his love for us. Love sweeter than honey satisfy our souls, like the riches of fairs make us whole. In the vine we bear fruit, like trees from the root, shoots showing off his work. Oaks of righteousness towering high to show his glorious name, like the bountiful vineyard make us fruitful for the sake of your fame. In the vine we shall invest and others will be blessed as many will rest with God eternally. Many disciples will be made and equipped to reach the nations. Lord, build the house, grow the seed, and hear the supplication. So this vine work not only changes us, but then uses us to share this love with others. It's been a joy to partner with Whitney in this work for seven years of marriage. And it's been a joy to partner with you, Rivermont EPC, as we've been sharing this love with you all for three years. Would you go out and share this love with your friends, family, neighbors, and everyone around you? Because Jesus is the vine. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you love us. We pray that you would help us to abide in you, that we might go and bear fruit for the sake of your kingdom all over the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, abide in the vine and go bear fruit, the fruit of love, into this world. We love you all. God bless.